Are you looking for the best family-friendly neighborhood options in Vero Beach, Florida? Then this video is for you. I'm gonna talk to you about what I have identified through the years of living here, raising a family, and helping many, many other families find their forever homes to be the best family-oriented communities. Remember, this is part two, um, so if you didn't already see it, I've got part one linked here for you. Uh, you can check that out first, and then come back here and watch the rest of this. So give this video a watch, and if you'd like us to help you and your family, give us a call. As I said before, Vero Beach is truly a paradise for families seeking the perfect blend of beach living and small town charm. So a quick summary, we covered Point West, Arbor Trace, Diamond Lakes, and Castaway Cove in my first video, part one. Picking up where we left off, my next favorite family-friendly neighborhood is the Vero Beach Country Club, located in Central Vero, approximately 10 or less minutes drive from the beach. This community offers a winding golf course country club feel with a laid back flair. It's perfect for your everyday working family as well as your retiree. And I love this community for the fact that it is a staple for Vero Beach. The country club founded in the 1920s is still vibrant today and is very family friendly. And you're gonna find adults and children alike all enjoying the pool amenities year round. The Vero Beach Country Club itself requires either a golf or social membership with different options based on your preferences, abilities, and age. Most of the neighborhood does not boast sidewalks, but you will, however, commonly see families riding through the streets on their way to the clubhouse or to their neighbors on their golf carts. When it comes to real estate, there's a wide range of styles and prices of homes. Your lot sizes are gonna vary significantly. So are the ages of the homes that you're gonna find there. Driving through the country club area, you'll find some historic homes built in the early 1900s, some restored and some mostly original, and all the way to some really superb new luxury homes. There are options that border the golf course, there's interior lots that back up to a neighbor, and there's some waterfront lots, um, mostly non-navigable tributaries. If you're interested in the neighborhood, please give us a call. We can walk you through what's available to you and what the current prices reflect. There's no HOA, so you maintain your own home and lot. Also note that the Vero Beach Country Club splits into the Royal Palm area, so if you have a true preference for the Country Club, we can help you define um, where those homes are located. What also makes this community great for a family is the proximity to conveniences like Publix, restaurants, and other shopping options. You're in Central Vero and very close to what the locals call Miracle Mile. It's a stretch of a myriad of shopping and restaurant options. Next up is the gated community of Falcon Trace, which is located in South Vero. Falcon Trace reminds me a lot of Diamond Lakes in the somewhat Spanish style home construction and larger square footage options. I know many families that have moved into this community and when they outgrew their smaller homes, they just moved into a larger home within Falcon Trace because they enjoyed it so much. Falcon Trace is very family friendly and when you visit on Halloween or Christmas or during the holidays, you will feel the neighborhood charm. Everyone has their decorations hung. This community is in your traditional HOA neighborhood. It's skated and it features nice sidewalks as well as a nice clubhouse with a pool. The yard maintenance is also included in your HOA fees. You can have a home on a lake, an interior, or a perimeter lot, and you're about mm, 15 minutes drive to the beach. Now I'm gonna take a moment here and I'm gonna ask you to please hit that subscribe button if this information is helpful to you and if you'd like to have access to more content about Vero Beach and the surrounding area. Do it now so you don't forget. Next, let's talk about Antilles. I've actually made a whole separate video about Antilles, which you can find here. Antilles is another traditional HOA community with gated access, a lovely clubhouse, pool and fitness center. It's got winding sidewalks, uh, lawn maintenance is covered, and it's just overall a very pretty neighborhood. It's northeast in Vero Beach, almost to Sebastian, so it's definitely out of pocket for Vero. But there are conveniences such as Publix, CVS, Walgreens, and some eateries very close by within five minutes drive. 
It's also about 10 to 15 minutes drive to the beach, whether you go north to the Wabasso Beach Access or south to the Sexton Plaza uh, public access. All of the homes in Antilles are single family homes and typically on the larger side. You can have an interior lake or perimeter lot, and Antilles is actually one of the lesser known communities and not a lot of people give it the acknowledgement that I think it deserves. Last but not least, I love the community of Province Bay for families. Province Bay is a gated community of townhomes. The original builds are stacked townhomes offering two-story layouts attached on the sides. Um, the newer construction in the back, and e uh, back east and south sides of the community are single story attached townhomes mostly. Province Bay is so family friendly that they actually have a playground in the community. They've got great sidewalks, a heated community pool, um, HOA covers exterior maintenance, and this is a really great option for a busy family. Not only is it low maintenance, but it's also affordable. It's close to many conveniences, it's located centrally in Vero, and it's kid and pet friendly. The townhouses are stylish and they're spacious, and you can have an interior perimeter or a lakefront lot. Funny story, actually, I was showing a house in Province Bay shortly after I got engaged, and I actually lost my engagement ring right in Province Bay in one of the listings. Believe it or not, I didn't uh, remember until much later that evening at dinner time when I was messing with my hand. I noticed there was nothing on it anymore and I remembered I had shown property in there. I called the listing agent and their uh, dachshund actually had found my engagement ring on the floor and was playing with it. So ha happy ending to the story I got my engagement ring back but I always think of that when I think of Province Bay. In closing part two of the best family friendly neighborhoods in Vero Beach, no matter which neighborhood you choose, Vero Beach offers something for every family. Let us know if you need help finding your family the right Vero Beach home.